Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial for beginners and this is part 7 of this video session series in which we will discuss about how can we edit any post if we want to edit from our application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made under the playlist called WordPress JS and REST API. So in the last video session guys we did about the deletion part of this application okay this is the panel actual where we we have listed all the wordpress post as you can see so far we have made something called create post delete post as well as list post okay in this video session what actually we will do while clicking on this edit button we actually we are going to do to edit this post edit this row from this application okay so first of all we would like to show all these details into this model means if we want to update this row then just click on edit nothing appears in these boxes so we want that on clicking on this edit button these details should appear on this model okay so first of all we have to retrieve these values to this model okay so for that we just detect the click event on this edit button so we need to give a class on this edit button so let's say that so this is the HTML of this edit button okay so we need to define uh, another class in this list so just go to editor let's say that just go to in, inside rest.js file where actually we have and this is the HTML code that we have written okay and this is the edit button so now we have to add a class inside this edit button so let's say that post edit okay successfully we have written a class and also guys if you are a beginner to this video series then I strongly suggest you that please watch our previous video sessions to make the clear vision about WordPress JSON REST API okay because this is our part 7th where actually we have discussed so many things before making this video okay so just copy this class and now just go up and let's say that jQuery document on click this is event this is selector and now let's make an anonymous function which runs on while clicking on this button so let's say that for testing let's say console.log I am here ok so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page so while refreshing just go to console tab get rid of all these lists click on this so this is I am here so successfully we have detected the click event on this edit button okay so the next thing that we need to do is that while clicking on any of the edit button we need to show the corresponding records like title and description into the model input boxes okay so to do that so let's say that we actually we want to retrieve the title so title equal to just inspect the row element and this is the title section okay so we want to retrieve the title of this tr okay which is at the second position of this td element okay so just i am going to zoom it so this is the second td element of this tr which contains the title of this row okay so to get the title let's say that jquery this dot parents tr which contains the td and whose position is at the second position okay dot text so if we check the value of this title so let's see the console.log title just save this file so before going to browser guys if we will discuss about this index then just go to browser again this is the row actually the serial number at zero index okay title is at one index and description as the two index third fourth and so on so basically if you want to retrieve the value of index to it means that the value of this td element will be returned 
okay means the description section so if we go to console tab just refresh this page click on this edit button so successfully you can see this is the sample post again for testing we are retrieving the value right here okay so this is the description that we have written so if we click on this edit button so this is welcome to WordPress this is your first post so this is the description of this row okay so successfully we have retrieved the description simple statements that we have written by the help of jQuery first while clicking on this row we have detected it's the parent element of TR okay while clicking on just inspect again while clicking on this edit button we have detected the parent element of this TR after going to the parent level we have find about the TD element of our corresponding index means we want to retrieve the TD element of index 2 which basically is 0 1 and the 2 this is the second position of that TD element so basically for the title section just make copy of this row paste it here let's say that title and this is at the one position okay so successfully we have actually retrieved the title and description of the corresponding row only we need to do is that we have to show this record to our model and this is the model okay so successfully if we inspect this input box so let's say that this is the title section actually we want to show these records okay by the help of this post edit as an ID okay so let's say that so just go to editor again open up our index.php file actually we have written our HTML code okay and this is the post edit model okay so we need to change something called its ID and its title okay its title so let's say that title edit okay and let's say that instead of this description let's say ID equal to edit okay just make it as a lowercase so let's say that if we want to retrieve this title ID by the help of this post edit as an ID of this model so just copy this ID go to your JavaScript file and let's say that jQuery this is the ID of our model and now we have given the ID of this title edit as the post title so just make a copy of that paste it here okay so dot val and this is the value of title just paste it here okay so all we have to do for the description section as well so just make copy of that paste it here and this is the ID of description just make copy of that and paste it here okay so successfully we have given the two values to our two input boxes so if we save this file go to browser refresh this page so let's click on this first row and this is something called OK and this is because we have not changed it to description just make copy of that and paste it here okay again refresh so let's say that edit and this is the value that we actually retrieving this is blank because this is blank too and here is the values okay so so the next thing that we need to do is that while clicking on this submit button we need to update this record to our WordPress post sections of this WordPress setup okay so to update that just go to settings plugin click on JSON API and this is the plugin setting okay so if you go to the controller section then we can see that under the post sections we have a method called update post just cl click on this method and now we can find that this route will expect from our ID or slug this is why because on the behalf of ID or slug it will update that record okay so if we pass suppose something called ID equal to 20 so basically this post actually not found okay so also if we inspect that so let's say that inspect on this edit button so this is data ID equal to 13 okay so if we pass instead of 20 let's say 13 so basically apart from ID it also expects nonce value okay so we actually get nonce value by our core method called get nonce okay 
we have generated our nonce value if we have used the methods called create post and delete post in our previous video sessions as well okay so actually we know that how can we generate the nonce value so just click on this method let's say that controller post and the method should be something called delete post okay so instead of create post so let's say that method equal to delete post so this is the nonce value that we have generated okay so by the help of this nonce value actually we will pass this nonce value right into this URL so just go to editor first we need to generate the nonce value for this application okay so let's say that jQuery dot post and we need to pass the HX URL means site URL we need to append this site URL with this API post update post okay so just make copy this route paste it here okay and now in the second thing we need to do is that make an anonymous function let's say that this before calling this update post actually we need to generate the nonce value okay so this is the route actually we need to follow so just make copy this API get nonce just I'm pasting it here okay and we need to pass some parameters into this for that so let's say that where nonce param equal to and the parameters should be called controller equal to post as you can see so just I'm going to copy and paste it here okay so these are the two parameters that we need to pass to this get nonce method to get the nonce value okay so just save this file copy this param variable and just pass into this route okay we actually get the response from the server so let's make that console.log and let's say that response okay so successfully by hitting this get nonce method with this route bypassing these parameters actually we will get the nonce value to our console tab okay so if we save this file just go to the browser let's refresh this page and just click on this edit button so this is the nonce value that actually we have retrieved from our server by using JSON API plugin okay so by the help of this nonce value actually we are going to update this record to our WordPress setup as well okay so first of all we have to retrieve this nonce value from this JSON object okay so let's say that just copy this response variable so let's say that where nonce equal to response dot nonce okay because this is a JSON object and this is also a response so response dot nonce will give you the value of nonce and one more thing that actually we are doing all this functionality on the click event of this edit button but actually we have to do all this functionality means by getting nonce value if you are going to update this row then we just need to detect on this click event submit instead of this edit button okay so if we inspect that so let's say that this we have to make a form ID to this form so just go to HTML just find this form and let's say that ID FRM edit post okay so just make copy this form ID go to browser sorry JavaScript file let's say that jQuery this is the form ID okay and on submit so let's say anonymous function just console.log and let's say that jQuery this dot serialize okay we are going to retrieve all the values on submitting the form okay so if we save this file go to browser just refresh this page once more go to console tab just click on this edit icon these are the values of this current form while clicking on this form we actually got the value of these fields just click on that and this is the value okay so the next thing that we need to do is that after getting these values we need to attach the nonce value with this parameter okay to update the corresponding row of this wordpress post as well as we need to attach the id of that post too 
okay and also we can see that on the serialize method actually we get only the description value why it is not getting the title value let me check that just go to file and serialize method actually pick the name attribute of the field section so this is the name section for title sorry description and let me check that for title so no actually name parameter right here so let's say that title and also we need to make uh, another field called id okay so let's say input type hidden okay and the id should be called post id okay and name should be something called id okay and it contains null value at this time okay but by getting this post id as an id of this input type hidden field just go to post edit click event what actually we have written for this id okay so let's say that while clicking on this edit button jquery this is the id of input type hidden field so let's say that val equal to jquery this dot attr and let's say dot data id because this click event actually contains attribute called data id which is basically the post id okay so on clicking on this button actually we need to retrieve this id from this button and this id we need to put on the model okay so if we inspect that so this is input type hidden actually we have not refreshed this page just refresh this page while clicking on this button we have actually put that id to this form id and right here 13 okay successfully if we click on another edit button so this is value one okay so by the help of this id title and the content section we can actually update all the records of this wordpress post section okay so just go to editor let's say that we need to pass all these things into this section okay just get rid of all this realize method let's say that fair frm data okay and this is the frm data which basically contains the form elements okay so the next thing that we need to do we need to pass this form data with this nonce value and also with the id to our server okay so let's say jquery dot post ajax url as the site url and we need to attach this url with this route so just make copy of these things paste it here api post and update post okay and also we need to attach this frm data with our nonce value as well so let's say that nonce equal to the nonce value actually we are getting okay just put ampersand to concatenate with the query string Okay, so just I'm going to pass this FRM data with this request. Okay, so let's say that function. And this function actually gives a response from the server. Just make it as. And let's say that console.log. Just write response here. And let's save this file. Go to browser and just refresh this page. While refreshing, just go to console tab. Let's click on this edit icon and let's say that sample post test article updated. Okay, just click on submit button and we actually are getting forbidden error. This error actually we are getting as I think that we actually haven't made the correct actually call to this API. Okay, so let me check that. Just go to editor and this is the API call that we have made okay so successfully we have generated the nonce value and we have used the nonce param like controller post and the math okay guys actually we did a silly mistake instead of delete post we need to generate the nonce value for this update post okay so if we save this file and also let me check that what actually we are getting this frm data variable so just make console of that paste it here save this variable just and just make comment to this call again okay i have commented that just save this file refresh this page click on this icon click on submit button and this is the values that actually we are getting into this frm data variable okay so id okay title and this is description this is nonce value 
so this description actually we need to change into the content okay because content parameter is the defined variable of to accept the wordpress data variables okay so we need to update this variable for description okay so if we save this file again refresh just click on this edit and now this is id title content and this is nonce value okay so all okay now so if we make uncomment to these things just save this file again let's refresh to this page let's click on this edit icon let's say that test article updated okay so if we save this file just click on submit button and now status is okay it means the post has been updated so if we manually refresh this page so this is the title actually we have changed okay so we want that page itself reloaded after some time okay so set timeout let's make a call to anonymous function which basically loads this page after 1200 milliseconds okay so let's see that location dot reload so just save this file refresh this page click on edit and let's say that sample content added okay so just click on submit button and now the post I think submitted successfully and this is okay so this is the basic concept thing guys you need to keep in your mind while making any call to JSON API while updating this record actually we did a silly mistake that we haven't changed this method we need to make is a update post okay so basically guys these are the things that we have seen that how can we make connectivity to these JSON REST APIs to make the connectivity with this post okay by the help of this video we actually completed about the JSON API concept to create post delete post as well as update post okay so from the next video session we are going to learn some extra points in this WP JSON REST API tutorial so in this video session guys if you have any doubt please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day